The VIX, which is the volatility index popularly known as Wall Street's fear gauge, is going through a pretty big shakeup. There is a brand new version that will track expectations of short-term market swings, and it begins today. But what does it exactly do? And what does it measure? <laughs> Yahoo Finance is Inez Ferre is here to explain, Inez. Yeah, guys. So let's back up for a second and just let's start off with what exactly what we mean when we talk about the VIX. As you mentioned, Brad, the fear gauge, the volatility index. It's a measure of expected swings in the S&P 500 in the next 30 days. Now, the VIX is calculated using derivatives or option contracts that expire 23 to 27 days into the future. It's calculated in real time. And historically, when you see spikes in the VIX, it has coincided with financial distress. But traders have been noticing that this year and last year, there's, there seems to have been more muted levels. So it's worth noting also that the contracts captured in the VIX expire, as I mentioned, every 20, 23 to 27 days. So the suspicion is that the VIX isn't capturing near-term sentiment. It's not taking into account a hedge which has become increasingly popular, and that's options with zero days to expiration. Enter into the picture now a new one-day version of the VIX, which takes into account options with zero-day expiration with the ticker symbol VIX1D, and the move towards zero-day expiration options has really accelerated since last May when short-term derivatives were expanded. And six months later, the use of these has almost doubled. So just to give you an idea of the mismatch between the VIX movement and the market moves, the VIX's highest uh, close was in March. 2022, but a sell-off in the market really continued through the rest of the year. So right now, the VIX is sitting near the lowest levels in more than a year, despite what we have heard of softening economic data, concerns of a recession, etc. So this really one-day VIX is supposed to be a little bit more matching this near-term mm -hmm. sentiment, guys. Yeah, really interesting stuff. We're going to be watching it. Thanks, Inez, for the primer on it.